As a public company, if you want to attract investors, you must make it as easy as possible for them to invest in your company. One way to do so is to become DTC eligible. If your company is DTC eligible, you will enjoy securities and operational advantages over other companies when it comes to raising capital. In this story, the company, Angela Apples, is not DTC eligible. Even though things were going well, they thought they didn't need to become DTC eligible because things were going so well. Eventually, they wanted to expand and they needed to attract more investors. And because they were not DTC eligible, they had a lot of trouble selling securities to institutional and retail investors through brokers. Many accredited investors immediately cross off the idea of investing in companies that are not DTC eligible. Angela Apples had a lot of obstacles to overcome because they were not able to deposit stock certificates into individual brokerages. They also incurred a lot of additional overhead expenses because they had to issue paper certificates and ship them to shareholders and brokers. Many investors aren't even used to receiving paper certificates, so they got lost in the mail or sent to the wrong address from time to time. Most importantly, Angela Apples faced a lot of additional regulatory hurdles because it took longer for their transactions to settle. Many investors got frustrated and they decided to take their investments elsewhere. Because the stock was not DTC eligible and not depositable in some brokerages, shareholders had issues liquidating their shares. There was a delay between when a transaction took place, when the transaction actually settled, when the shares were sold and money received, and when the transaction was recorded at the transfer agent. This led to a lot of operational inefficiencies and redundancies, which made it hard for the company to raise more money efficiently. Eventually, Angela Apples had enough, and they decided to become DTC eligible. Immediately, they enjoyed a lot of benefits. They did not have to spend as much money on brokerage processing fees, and they could deposit all of their stock certificates into individual brokerages. They could take advantage of electronic processing between brokers and DTC, meaning that they got to save money on postage stamps and printing. By becoming DTC eligible, they also took advantage of increased funding opportunities from investors, investment bankers, and lenders. Angela Apples is a good example of why public companies should become DTC eligible.